So I get a tweet from this guy, Jackson Herman, and I swear, the balls on some people. He says, at Leon Lush, you should definitely make a video about how bad Lele Pond's Snapchat videos are. My first reaction was Lele Pond's. <laughs> My second reaction was Snapchat. <laughs> My third reaction was, man, am I starving right now? So I made a grilled cheese and it was delicious. And then my fourth reaction was, okay, Jackson, Maybe you're onto something here, but I'm not trying, like, Lele Pons, no. Making a video about Lele Pons in 2020 is like being in a fraternity and hooking up with that girl that 98% of the frat house is already hooked up with. I've had enough of her. Although a little Leon Lush history lesson, back in 2017, I was one of the first people to make a video about Lele Pons, and it was the very first video of mine that really hit the YouTube algorithm and got recommended helping push me towards my first 100,000 subscribers. Thank God for Lele Pons. Hi, sir. I am interested, however, in Snapchat because what? People still use it that aren't e-girls and Gary Vaynerchuk? What the fuck is going on? Oh, Tana Mojo's on it. That's interesting. I wonder, I wonder how much they're paying her to do this. No way she's doing this willingly. <laughs> she probably gets paid like $50,000 to make two Snapchats a day, and that's what we get out of her. She's just like... <sighs> Mia Khalifa on my For You page. I don't... Who's that? Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Uh, listen, so I haven't used Snapchat in probably three years, but apparently I'm subscribed to Jacob Sartorius. So... I, I don't have a good exploit. Hand to God, I don't know how this happened, but actions have consequences. So I was under the impression that Snapchat had died years ago, but apparently it's still kind of like a low key content powerhouse, I guess. I mean, it started out 2012, 13, whatever it was, and it like got adopted by the young kids in high school, and it was fun, you could send risque pictures, and it would disappear in 10 seconds, and then it became problematic because everyone was just sending unsolicited, unsol unso Son of a unsolicited pictures of their schwans, and then it got adopted by the e-girls, and they started selling their private Snapchats, and then it went through the Gary Vaynerchuk phase where he wouldn't shut the fuck up about it for more than two seconds, and every young budding entrepreneur thought that they had to have a thriving Snapchat in order to run a business. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. And then uh, Instagram, Mark Zuckerberg came along and literally stole the idea, carbon copy verbatim and integrated it into Instagram. And at that point, I thought Snapchat had died. Why would you even need Snapchat if Instagram is basically Snapchat, but also Instagram in addition? Someone asked me, do I smoke Snapchat? So I gotta give Snapchat a fair shake to see what I've been missing out on and to see if we can justify their $25 billion present day market cap. But before we do that, I have Intellectual Leon on standby, ready to talk about today's video sponsor, Raycon. Take it away, Intellectual Leon, you fat bitch. Big shout out to Raycon for their continued support of YouTubers during this new normal. I've been partnered with them since last year and I'm still loving my everyday E25s as much as the day I got. Co-founded by Ray J, their goal was to deliver a quality product at about half the price of other premium brands, which they have done in spades here with these everyday E25s. They're stylish, they sound excellent, and they're incredibly discreet, which is gonna keep you looking fly for the 2,000 Zoom calls you're probably doing every week right now. For wireless earbuds, these have an incredible frequency response, even in the low end, so you're not losing out on half the experience when you're listening to bass heavy music. You get six hours of playtime, they come in multiple colors, you need a compact, noise, isolating fit, not to mention a seamless Bluetooth pairing experience. I bring these everywhere, man, and the case is awesome because it's small, but it charges the earbuds up to four times before you ever have to plug in anything. So if you're in the market for a new pair of stylish, reliable wireless earbuds, you can use my link in the description. That's buyraycon.com slash Leon Lush to get your own pair for 15% off the day. Thanks, Raycon, and thank you guys. Appreciate you. So I spent a minute re-familiarizing myself. It looks like they have the, the message section, which is is a staple and then they have this discover section now or for you which is pretty ubiquitous on every app now instagram tiktok they all have it uh and then they have this shows page which um pretty self-explanatory i guess they they sign people up to to syndicate their content into these little show segments oh, oh look drama alert let's go i wonder how keemstar is doing i haven't seen him much in the news lately Tested positive for missing the squad. Oh, Oof. what the heck? It's just like a compilation of viral clips or something. My 
man has the softest skin now. So that was just like really short clips of nothing in particular with ads like every two or three clips. What's going on, Ace Family? Today is a great day. You know why? Because I get to prank Catherine. She oh, hallelujah. No idea. That's a lot of stuff. And All right, guys, why am I watching this? Just... We live right, guys, never end. End. Yeah, it wouldn't be uh, Snapchat without some Ace Family on it, I guess. What I'm, I'm beginning to realize is that a lot of what this is is just people that are big on other platforms that probably get paid uh, f to have their content syndicated and delivered on Snapchat. Which is good, I guess, for established creators. You just recycle your content on Snapchat and get another bag coming in. Uh, but I don't see anyone really making original content for Snapchat that's already established anywhere else. So since Jackson asked so nicely in his tweet, uh, I have to at least check out Lele Pons to see what he's talking about. Okay, it looks like she has her own show called Lele, which I'm sure shows up on the show's page. Oh, uh, there it is. The best of Lele Pons. Where do you even begin? There's just so much good stuff. Would you pay me to clean your house? We're back in three hours. Thank you so much. It's hard. Oh, uh, wow. uh, no. I'm just gonna... What do you do? Come on. So there's an ad every three. So that's the video from three years ago that I reacted to initially on YouTube, that video I told you about that helped get my channel to 100K subs. So now three years later, all her videos are just being recycled on Snapchat and serving a ton of ads and probably making her a ton of money. Honestly, it's genius. If I was smart, I would maybe do the same thing with my content. Oh, the super dancer. And if you're feeling sad, lonely, or depressed, make sure to swipe up because we just released a new app called Wisdo, which lets you meet people that are going through the same life experiences as you. It's oh, yeah? amazing. Can't whip on Carla. Uh, let me, if you're feeling let me, sad. At this moment in time, I think I could use something like this. <laughs> Go ahead and get that. All right, I'll be right back, guys. I'm just going to talk to someone real quick that's also watching Lele Pons' Snapchat and thinking about jumping headfirst into a trash compactor. I know I'm worth it. I know I am. I know. I tell myself all the time I'm worth it, but I just, I can't, I can't stop from watching these. I can't stop from watching that they make so much money with these, with this, with this bullshit. It's shit, and they're putting multi-millionaires! All right, I'm back. Uh, the app was three stars at best, but I am feeling a little bit better, so let's continue. Spread joy, not germs. Funny videos that make quarantine easier. Laughing till I'm crying emoji. Now this, I might be able to understand. Oh my god! Look at the fat little cheeks on this boy! Mwah! Are you kidding me with the tomato red chef's hat? Oh my God. That 10 seconds just justified all of my pain. I get it now. $25 billion mark cap Snapchat because you got little diamonds in the rough like this chunky little baby boy in a tomato red chef's hat cooking up a pie. Good afternoon. You're part of me. Stay home, protect your NHS, save lives, I'll push your Honestly, that kid's probably a better politician than 98% of the current ones. <laughs> right, what is this? Meet singles over 40, sponsored. How... how... <sighs> it has not been 15 minutes and I'm already getting targeted ads from Snapchat. It's bad enough that Google knows every intricate detail of my life because of my search history and I can't escape targeted ads. I would think that for 15 minutes on Snapchat, I could have a little reprieve, but no. Meet singles over 40. I know that I'm old! Thought I could just make a quick video without being shamed for my age in front of my entire audience, but no, 15 minutes in, you wanna meet some singles over 40? No, I'm married, thank you very much. And by the way, I know how to play Billie Eilish songs on acoustic guitar. Make it go from mad type, might seduce your dad type. I'm the bad guy. Do -do, do -do 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 -do. You know, I don't actually know any Billie Eilish songs. I just learned that right now to seem younger than I really am. So I'm a fuck! Die, you ever think about just die. deleting your channel? Yeah, pretty much uh, every day. Thanks for reminding me. You should do it. And you should probably shut your whore mouth. Yeah, you're old. Bah! You know, so satisfying had to be on 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 every platform ever. Wait, is that? Is it? Hold the phone a second. If that was a flat brim made out of Kool-Aid packets, which I think it, which I think it was, then I told, I mean, 
balls. I, I understand all the hype. That is fucking awesome. The condition, state, or quality. Oh hell yeah, my boy. From all flaws. My boy Prince EA is obviously on Snapchat. I think the actual definition should be a ten-letter word describing something that doesn't exist. I'm getting amped up already. Watch this pink blob grow up. All right, actually, I'm that. I'm gonna that one. I'm gonna click on. Oh no, Ben and puppies. Where's the pink blob? I didn't come on Snapchat to feel sad. Show me the pink blob. Ads, ads. There he is. He's at the he's at the very end. Fifty snaps and forty five ads later, finally the little pink blob. It's a baby African pygmy hedgehog. That was literally it. That's all I got. God, they are smart. They clickbaited the shit out of me. Twenty four exercises for couples at home. Thanks, I hate it already. That's... Oh my god. Honestly, is it even a sit-up if you're not kissing your partner in between every single one? Is it even a squat if you're not standing on your partner's dick while they're doing a crow pose? Is it even a push-up if your partner's not planking on your back? Learn to work out, you lonely single pricks! Hooked on the look, I wear a corset every day. Hold on a second. Four-year-old Michelle is not content with the size of her tiny waist. Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing here? Is, it, uh, is that the same Michelle that wanted to marry a 747? The same Michelle that wanted to make love to a cockpit? My wish is that I married a 747. 99.99999% match. Look at Michelle trying to have her cake and eat it too. As if wanting to bang an airplane wasn't weird enough, she's now addicted to training her waist with corsets to an unhealthy level. Save some weirdness for the rest of us, Michelle. And of course, hey, Matt Stoney got that Snapchat deal. Go get him, brother. Love that guy. There he is. There he is. Hana Chan, the hedgehog, needs to relax after a long day of being cute. Okay, okay. Relatable much? <laughs> well, I was gonna call it, but how would I live with myself tonight if I didn't find out what Justin really DM'd Charlie? Let's take a look. Why do I only get creepy people in my DMs and Charlie gets Justin Bieber? That's right. I'll be honest, I'm impressed Snapchat was able to hang on this long after Instagram pretty much stole their lunch so many years ago, but uh, they were able to adapt. It's a lot different than I remember it when I used to use it several years ago, briefly, but they've they've come up with a pretty decent content delivery system that keeps you on there clicking with the shiny bells and whistles and the bright thumbnails and the clickbaity titles, and then it's just like five second clips, just viral videos, pow, 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 pow. Force fed into your brain stem, serving you an ad every three. Like a lot of social media these days, it's just this constant barrage of little clips void of any sort of value or substance that'll keep you occupied for as long as you let it. And like most social media, it can be entertaining or help take your mind off the struggles of everyday life, but by God, should it be should it be consumed in moderation? I grow concerned for some of the youth these days that are growing up just spending hours and hours on this Ferris wheel of substanceless bullshit when they could be doing things to better their future like play video games and drugs. <clears throat> I mean, going outside and playing in the dirt or whatever else boomers say. I'm only kidding. I'm not here to preach about social media. I just know if I spent another five minutes on Snapchat, my brain would have shit its pants and put me in a vegetative state. And listen, it wouldn't be right to just shit on Snapchat without mentioning the other major social media platforms that are all responsible for collectively destroying the attention spans of humans worldwide and creating graphs like this relating to ADHD diagnoses over the last 10 to 20 years. But you know, I make my living on the other ones, so I'm just gonna talk, I'm just gonna blame it on Snapchat. Well, thanks for joining me for my first and last episode of Boomer Revisit Snapchat in 2020. I can't imagine I'll ever reopen it unless, you know, they offer me a bunch of money to recycle my content on there or something, which I can't envision happening ever. Feel free to follow me on Instagram where normal humans upload content if you wanna be underwhelmed with how exciting my life is. <laughs> Hope you guys are doing well. As always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you dearly. We will see you very soon. Peace. You, you.